In this lesson, you will understand how to use sample row component in Talent. So, what is sample row? Here you have this is the data set we are going to use that is a Euromart store. In this data, you have nearly 8000 records. Okay. So, while processing 8,000 records, okay, 8,000 records, 8,000 records is not a big deal. But imagine if you have uh, lakhs of records, like a millions of records. So, if you want to process this, okay, even that will take some at least some time to analyze, okay, process and do the transformation. So, what usually we will do is, if you have more than lakhs of records. So, we will be assuming, we will be having, we can have a sample rows. We can pick up some sample rows and have it for the transactions. Okay, this is the logic. So, sample row means what? Either you can have like this from 2 to 500. Okay, 2 to 500 records. You can get it. Or else, if you want any specific records, for example, I want uh, 2, 4, 7, 10, 9, 14, 17, likewise, that also is possible with talent. Okay, you can also mention what are all the records you want. If you want continuously from 2 to 500, then you can give that. If you want the random samples, random records like 2, 5, 7, 9, you can also specify that. Or else, if you feel that you want from 2 to 100, and then 200 to 300, even that is possible with sample row. Okay, so let us see how to do that. Open talent and then create a job. I'm going to create a job like a sample. Okay, sample is my job name. Fine, once you have created, uh, once you have given all the name, purpose and description, click finish. You can see that a sample row job has been created and your workspace will be ready soon so once it is ready you can you can just drag and drop the euro march store from the metadata okay drag and drop it here so it'll ask you for input excel so click input and now you can just connect this with the sample you can type sample row where it is available in the processing under the processing components so here you can double click on the sample row to be connected now double click on the sample row to see its configuration how you can configure it okay first let us see whether the schema are properly uh, copied into your sample row component once it is copied click ok and here they have given you the how you have to specify the number of rows okay as we discussed so if you need like 2 4 6 9 12 like that then you have to specify that like okay 1 comma 2 comma 4 comma 5 comma 7 comma 9 comma like that you can give commas and specify how many rows or, or how what are the records the record you need okay this is to specify the random records the records which you want in a random manner okay so that is what given in the very first thing okay that is comma one one and fifth line what is the next one if you want from two to hundred records okay i want continuously from 2 to 100 okay i want continuously from 2 to 100 so how i can give is one two dot dot 100 okay you can give like what two double dot 100 where it will be considered as two to 100 okay or else you may need like if you want either from first thing is you need it from okay let's have 60 to 64 and then 71 to 74 likewise okay then you can give like 60 double dot 64 comma 71 double dot 74 likewise okay you can give like 60 71 dot dot so this is also possible with 
talent sample row or else if you want only first 10 lines okay that is the first 10 lines that we have already discussed like one double dot 10 okay so first 10 lines or first 20 lines so that is also possible with talent so these are the possible values which you can fetch so where you have to give so you have to give it here you have an option called range so go to that range and the default one which is selected there is 1 comma 5 comma 10 to 20 that is 1 one first record fifth record and 10 11 12 to 20th record that is what it means okay so now i need like 2 to 100 okay i want it from 2 to 100 okay 2 double dot 100 that you have to give inside the double quotation i'll also show you if you haven't included double quotation so what it will show okay and then you can connect this with the log row as of now so i am just configuring the log row as table print values in a cells of table now execute this let's see what is the output so before that you are uh, you are if you have opened the, the file which you are trying to process it here just close it then only it will work okay just close it now your complete 8000 records will be sent to the sample row and then okay let us execute it again i think something has happened so let us execute it again okay from the sample row it started and from the Euromart store to sample row you uh, it is trans it is transmitting nearly 8000 records this has to transmit 8000 records you can see the processing here and then from there you are getting only 99 rows okay because you mentioned like 2 to 100 okay so second record to 100 record has been here fine so just i'm just going to give like one comma five comma likewise okay one comma five comma seven comma nine comma ten okay or nine comma eleven so let's see what is the output for this execute this okay so few records will be transferred from the Euromart store to t sample row that you can see here and the first five rows has been displayed here that is not first five rows one uh, okay let's see that one i forget sorry so one five seven nine eleven that is five five records okay you can see that five rows has been transmitted to the t log row okay so you can try this and now i'm just going to give without the double quotes let's see whether it is showing up an error or not okay so execute this let's wait what it is going to show up okay so let's wait here so let's see okay fine so it is showing um the output that is one comma that is what one five seven nine and eleven okay sometimes if it shows any error even if you are giving without any double quotes then in that case please do give the double quotation that is opening and closing double quotes because the versions are improvising so it will keep on improve uh, the versions and whenever you are using the upgraded version that is a new version they may change some uh, some notations that you have to follow some principles you have to follow so in that case if it shows any error you can just follow this okay so this is how you have to use a t sample row i hope you understand so this is basically used to reduce the uh, that is um, to reduce the number of records used for processing and to increase the performance and to increase the and to reduce the time which is used to uh, process used, used for processing so even sample row will come under the processing component so if you just go here so you can see here that under processing you have a sample row okay even after connecting with the sample row you can do the other stuff you can connect with the filter okay which we have discussed in the previous um previous video 
previous lessons you can see that filter row after filtering that you can also uh, connect it with the log row okay so that is possible so you can connect multiple components so before that in from in processing so you have various components in processing so for the processing purpose you can connect multiple components so that is possible and finally you can store it as a excel or delimited file or any other file format which you require that also we have discussed in the previous lessons